Hey everyone, this week's reading is going to be for Leo placements, okay? So take what resonates and leave the rest. Welcome, welcome, welcome everyone. Thank you so much for being here. Hit that like and subscribe, all right? Especially if you're new. Um, and anyone else, just like <laughs> if you can. Helps get this message out as much as possible. This is for any of your Leo placements, okay? Um, and we'll just see what's in the energy for the week, okay? Um, and at the end of the list, at the end of the video, I do have um, all the playlists, okay? Uh, the ones that I think will be most helpful that seems to be popping up this week, okay? Um, if any other placements pop by, you might want to check those out as well for yourself. Okay, we'll just see. We'll get into it right now. All right, Spirit, what's going on for Leo this upcoming week? What do they need to know? What's in their energy? Please and thank you. Clear and concise messages. Immediately right out the gate, I'm seeing someone you know is undependable and insincere and dissatisfaction with life. Oh, that could be a couple things going on. I'm definitely getting a sense maybe somebody's not being totally honest about how they feel with where their life is going. This could be someone external to you. This could be you. All right. So maybe it's time to just sit back and reflect a little bit. Maybe even just kind of recenter self, okay? Let's see what else. All right. All right, we have wall. Maybe there's a misunderstanding going on. Someone's unclear about where things are in their life, and that's causing a bit of uh, confusion here, okay? And maybe they're not feeling happy with where, the, where things are going in life. Temporary problems, maybe whatever's going on right now is only temporary, okay? And pin, oh, maybe it could be as a result of not feeling fulfilled in a career, and perhaps maybe there is a new job or career on the horizon, or something new with the current job is happening that, that seems kind of, eh, I'm not so crazy about this idea. Let's see, what's going on, Spirit for Leo? This could be a temporary thing too. Maybe they hired on someone new and um, maybe someone in upper level management or something along those lines. And maybe they just don't get it yet. They haven't really worked into the fold. That's why it's temporary. Let's see. Something happening in the next 24 hours. Communicate clearly. Maybe some kind of imbalance might happen with your energy. Okay. In a few months. Okay, maybe things are up in the air right now. And there just needs to be clear communication about something, right? There clearly is a misunderstanding somewhere here. Tell me more, Spirit. One more. Maybe there's a lot of little problems that need to be ironed out first. Or a lot of little things going on. Nuts and bolts that haven't quite made their way to being settled yet. I'm just sort of seeing like this open book here with everything flying around. Maybe the dust needs to settle. And it probably will take a few months, okay? Maybe it'll start in the next 24 hours. Let's get one more. One more spirit. be in a relationship too um surrounding someone's career maybe they're not happy about things we also have word around time here this is all about the gossip <laughs> all right maybe there's a lot of little chatter going around that's confusing everybody and causing some misunderstanding here there could be somebody here that is just um it could be about somebody that's not dependable um, in a work environment. I'm definitely feeling this is in a work environment of some kind or another. This even can be education. 
maybe at school or something. I just heard you gotta learn something. So maybe there's there's not so much known about something correctly and it needs to be learned about. Okay, that worked out really well. Okay, let's get three face for Leo. Some kind of contracted environment here. All right, marriage. Could be about a married couple in this situation. Number three might be significant. That's Aries Pisces. Yeah, that's Aries Pisces. Maybe some kind of meeting had occurred that might upset the balance a little bit here. Okay. Four. Taurus Aries as well. Message of concern. Four. Oh my goodness, three, four, five, but there is some sort of progress through the situation here. May is also Taurus Gemini energy. There is a message of concern. Let's clarify that with the concern. I just heard co-owner, co-partnership. Uh, some kind of ending. Okay. Or a death. Clarify coffin spirit. You know how I feel about that card. 19 is 10, leading to a new beginning. Okay, so something is ending. We don't know what, okay? 28 and 10 as well. You have 10, 10 here, strong. Expectation, though, and there's your three months as well. There might have to be some patience through this situation, okay? And it's as a result of some sort of misunderstanding, I get the feeling this is outside of you, though. This could be like, what's the best way to describe this? Um, just because I did hear co-owner or co-partner or something, there may be just some sort of disagreement or misunderstanding between these two, and it's affecting their decisions with the job place, which is in turn affecting everyone else, right? With word around time and little black book, there's probably chatter. People are worried about their jobs, and that's not something they want to worry about right now before the holidays. They want to know that things are dependable. Something feels undependable. There's some sort of dissatisfaction with how things are going. Maybe there's some disgrunt I heard disgruntled employees. Maybe the vibe is completely soured in a work environment. And it's causing an imbalance here. I mean, technically, this card did pop up like this, okay? Uh, so maybe it's fine for some, but not for others, okay, in this situation. Clearly, there needs to be some communication happening that's uh, effective here, okay? Bring life back into things that everybody enjoys again. I do feel morale is down in this circumstance. Okay, yeah, there is some dissatisfaction here with the Four of Cups, right? Maybe it's making things feel stagnant. We also have Pisces here. Riches through stocks. Maybe there's been some ups and downs with the value of the company and it's affecting its purchasing power or something or its spending power. 17 and 8. Ace of Pentacles, so. But the birds do signify dire misfortune and, and, and fierce enemies when near. Maybe there's some new competition or something. Number 9. One more. Oh, okay. Maybe it is fierce competition. Maybe something had been communicated. Some drama, maybe even this gossip may have gone around and kind of ruined the situation. I also see this is also a situation where maybe some gossip in a relationship outside of work probably affected a work environment too. 13 and 4. Mm -hmm. I'm just looking for the numbers here. Okay, good. It seems like it's just really bad gossip that's really actually affected people. 
but I kind of see this as a blessing in disguise, okay? I mean, this is usually a card where something good is going to come out of this situation, and it's only because something ends, okay? It may be disconcerting or unreliable. Maybe this is just not the job for you, right? Maybe this is the universe's way of going, hey, look, you really don't want this. That's why you're not happy with the situation. That's why there's all this, you know, gossip going around and lots of troublemaking, misunderstandings and lots of temporary problems. Just one too many out of many, right? And it could be at the hands of whoever this Pisces is too, right? Maybe it's time to kind of disconnect from the situation and start something completely brand new. Maybe even travel to get there, right? Because the Eight of Wands can be a card of movement and travel. This could also be manifesting something in the tangible, too, that does make you happy. Instead of focusing on those three cups on the, on the ground there, with all the third-party accusations and whatever else is going on here, you focus on the cup that the universe is trying to guide you to. That's why things feel dissatisfied, because they're not really in alignment with you. And that's why the energy kind of, who knows what direction it's going to go, right? Something's going to happen in the next 24 hours for you. And who knows? Let's see. What's going to happen in the next 24 hours here? For what's ahead in the few months. I get the sense this is like step one of many before the few months comes to fruition here. And it could be this new job or career. All right, maybe something that's going to scare you. I just heard scare into submission. Okay, what? What, what, what? Hold on a sec. All right. <laughs> okay, maybe something that you had worried about. Maybe a nightmare. Maybe you'll get a dream about it. Ten of Wands. About what the burden is. Okay, you'll have a nightmare about what the burden is. Okay. What needs to be dropped? Yeah, you'll definitely have it. The moon is all about your dreams. And again, there's Pisces energy, okay? Maybe it's a dream about this particular Pisces and what needs to be dropped from them, okay? Or about them in this situation. Maybe that they're worried about getting fired or something. I see all that fire getting out of control. Maybe something's going to get out of control. Ooh, this is interesting. Pay attention to your dreams over the next, especially over the next 24 hours, okay? But all week, there may be something popping up telling you what's going on in this situation, okay? Maybe the troublemaker is going to get fired, right? Whoever this undependable an insincere person is, okay? Interesting. That is a message of concern. Uh, I just heard conflict of interest. Okay, marriage, courtship, message of concern. Okay. I wonder if they're taking, like, company secrets somewhere else. Especially with the uh, snake energy here. Uh, or clientele or something like that. Something that would affect the business of your job, okay? This is definitely something about that. Maybe they're the ones needing a new job now. Oh, my goodness. All right, let's see. Let's get, let's get a couple about this situation. From the Life Purpose Oracle Spirit, the Leo, what do they need to know about this? Body work. Your life purpose involves body work such as massage therapy, energy healing, physical therapy, or exercise training. I'm definitely getting the sense to maintain your physical health as well as your spiritual and emotional health at this time, your energy, okay? Just overall. <clears throat> but specifically with the body, you might have to like take time out and actually physically meditate, do yoga or something. Freedom. You have the free to do what you choose. So whichever's working for you, let's get one more. This may give you a sense of freedom by the end of it as well. And flowers. So be around flowers. Think floral. Think earth. Think things blooming. 
cheerful. Oh, you might need to bring flowers to somebody. <laughs> Working with flowers opens your heart and brings blessings to others through the, your life purpose. Now, if this is a situation where it's making you feel like you don't like your job anymore, um, if your job is not like a florist, for example, okay, maybe some kind of job with flowers as a side hustle would be a good distraction for you and help balance out whatever chaotic energy this is if you still need to keep this job, okay? Um, just something part-time, you know, something just like a couple hours a week, a little bit. You could be working at a florist or a nursery or something. Um, just working around outside in, in nature would be good too. They might not be ready to receive you full time, but you can get like, you know, pick up some hours here and there, right? Um, or maybe just start working on your own kind of project at home with the garden, if you have space for that, or a community garden or something like that. Um, I'm definitely getting a sense you might need to have some getaway money maker kind of vibe here <coughs> just to balance out the energy you're receiving at this job okay to help you maintain your sanity through all the chaos external to you okay because clearly there is not good communication here you have misunderstandings you have gossip and it seems like people need to communicate clearly and they're not. Um, and especially if this is a job where communication is absolutely necessary, that's kind of a problem. <laughs> and eventually it'll, it'll get back to upper management who the issue is. And I do get the sense that that's going to come forward. Okay. Maybe this person is just hating life at their job. They just don't like their job anymore. Their job doesn't feel right. And so they just make everybody else misery, miserable too, right? And all it's doing is just sort of causing a loss here somehow. All right, well, let's see what, what spirit should suggest for you at this time. Okay. But I do get the sense here that... You, you get to do work for self, you know, outside of this situation, okay? That would be hugely healing for your whole well-being. Flowers are involved, some kind of physical movement, body work. <coughs> I heard Tai Chi. Flower arranging. That's kind of physical. You know, there might be a temporary flower delivery job right now. That might help. I have a feeling until this other energy is still there, you know, they're not going to need the help. But once they're gone, you want to think of a temporary kind of job, a temporary kind of balancing out act here. And if you're in this job where you're just not totally stoked about it, you'll, you'll receive some guidance as to where to go and how to... Work your intuition and what needs to be dropped in this situation, okay? Is there anything else Leo needs to think about right now? Let's see. Gratitude, okay? Involve a lot of positive energy, okay? I'm thankful for this life and the opportunities that it presents. Because even our challenges give us something good, okay? There's always a reward, always lighted at, at the end of every tunnel, okay? Perseverance. I know that I can do whatever I set my mind to. Stay strong. After all, you're a lion, right? <laughs> and the Tarot of the Lion is the strength card. So embody that confident, courageous, proud, vital kind of energy that you are, all right? You might have to be a little patient, okay? Through this situation for sure with the especially with the expectation there's other people involved that are um maybe an issue here it would be something in the background you don't even know <clears throat> and maybe you'll see it as it comes through in dream states too something's muddled about the situation right like it just doesn't feel right 
Like it's even, the energy is even confusing for me because I'm just like, this could be a number of things. And all I'm seeing is like fog around everything. So maybe wait till the fog clears, okay? Focus on something else. Because it does seem like the next 24 hours or within a few months, some good's going to come out of it, okay? You have blue hair on here. Make a stand for what you believe in and do what feels right in spite of judgment or disapproval from others. So don't kowtow to anybody's manipulation here, okay? Because that's what that is. That's just manipulation. Face your problems head on with confidence and courage and you will emerge victorious with the boar or pig here. I'm actually going to pull from the ancestor spirit oracle first. Let's get two please spirit. To basics simplify reduce and center okay this may be a chance to really clear out some clutter both spiritually mentally and physically okay persons places situations things okay don't feel like you need to tackle it all in one day though focus on children maybe new ideas if you don't have any kids pregnancy birth adoption that could even be your fur kids okay This could even be, you know, planting new seeds to grow some flowers. <laughs> Those could be that kind of baby, your plant babies, okay? I do see those roses there, maybe roses. I know there's some uh, winter varietal roses, unless you're in like the Southern Hemisphere, where you're heading into sort of like spring, summer right now. There might be some varietals that you can kind of try to grow right right this very minute or at least get started and of course it would probably be something you do indoors okay all right let's get one from shapeshifters please mermaid in a koi pond definitely some changes on the way here with 41 breaking down to five rediscover your individuality become the dragon there's some leveling up here you know in a situation maybe you're discovering with new with every new level not only do you have devils but you also have new abilities and new things that you want to try or do that you realize that you can do new strengths right but they're also going to be challenges with those strengths so it could be that you're discovering that you're outgrowing this job and want to find something else Okay, well, just plant the seeds now. See what you're into. Get, get a sense, get your hands physically on things, trying new stuff and see what you're interested in, right? See what you respond to well enough, okay? Remove the things that you're like, eh, I'm not crazy about that anymore. And it could be just tangible items in the house. You may rediscover an old project that you hadn't finished that you totally forgot about. You know, maybe something from your childhood even, okay? That you actually do want to pursue and then that be that could be the thing that you work on that blooms and blossoms okay you'd be surprised as i'm cleaning up i'm like oh my goodness i have paintings from when i was five where'd these come from <laughs> and boy did i love the heck out of painting rainbows let me tell you <laughs> So, you know, maybe something rainbowy, right? Like, let's just say it's something like that. You discover old, you know, kids, paint, you know, your old childhood drawings and paintings, and you happen to notice one symbol that seems to permeate almost every single one of them. Maybe there's something there for you to try with that idea, you know? And if it's painting, you know, maybe you want to paint, you know, go out and photograph rainbows or something during this time, right? That'd be a fun little side project that'll get you outside, that'll get you moving. You might even be around flowers for that. Could even be a rainbow of flowers, right? All right, let's get to use some guidance from the metaphysical cannabis. See what else could be suggested. 
Ooh, you got two. All right. Urum, Joy and Light, and Glamour Energy. Love it. Okay. Now the page numbers may be significant to you. Okay. This is so great. All right. That might be identifiers or numbers that you see a lot or special numbers. Uh, who runs on 58? That breaks down to 13 and 4. <laughs> okay, let's see here. 58. All right. And glamour energy 71 which breaks down to an eight okay just marking my fingers here so i don't have to keep going back it's a tiny book hold on guys there we go Ooh, run the out like outlook is is bright and you have a clear vision of how to move forward without the fears of operating in the moon energy in fear, okay? Usupa is that in that deck, in this deck. Anything the light touches will be an opportunity for creation and action. Urun signifies the confidence to gallop with the sun at your back, your highest self enthusiastically pushing you onward. This is definitely the strength card. I love it. <laughs> the sun card, actually. All right, the cannabis flowers show the need to express yourself as in all cards that represent the sign of Leo, which is you. So you got to get into your own energy here, right? Get inspired and move forward. Uran appears when there is a tremendous success in your vortex because he signifies the inner child's innocence and power that create unlimited flow and joy. So definitely something to attach to your inner child, okay? Maybe some old fun activity you'll discover here. All right. Uran embodies the carefree spirit of Rai, which is the fool energy, starting something new. The intention of the manifestier, which is the magician in the deck. The wisdom of the witch doctor, which is the high priestess. And the fire of Sarun Uwa. Sarun Uwa. Nu, nu, <laughs> that would be the empress energy, okay? He also includes the gumption of Sarki, who is the emperor. The perception of a Durosin Sin, okay, which is strength, I think. The understanding of the role other souls play in your life, as in Alabas, Alabas Sesepo, which is the love verse, and the self control of your emotions, as in Karosar, which is the chariot, okay. Orwan is a card for being happy with yourself and with your life. It represents the inner knowledge that there are lessons and blessings that you need to fully appreciate the gifts life is giving you, that you should be aware that happiness is a choice. If Uran has appeared in your cards today, it's time to ask, am I surrounded by people who raise my spirit to its highest potential? And it could be you that's just really dissatisfied with this job because you're around miserable people, okay? So this is a good opportunity to really kind of evaluate your needs at this time and what you want to do and take care of yourself, all right? Glamour energy. Crystal pairing is pyrite. So if you want to work with a crystal, the affirmation on this card is my confidence is solid as stone and I take positive action to manifest my dreams. It's time to put on your best dress and attend the best party you've ever been invited to. This is your red carpet your premiere, fashion debut, and catwalk for the Oracle Gods. Sometimes you don't know where the next whatever is going to come from, but you can still look like a million dollars and you might just shift your energy in a really different feeling and alignment. So I'm getting the sense that you might need to go out and have a spa day and go treat yourself, okay? You know, kind of raise your spirits a little bit, right? And that could even be just in the process of organizing your closet, okay? You know, simplifying things. You might discover a dress you haven't worn or a suit you haven't worn in like forever, okay? Maybe try it on. Get all dolled up and go somewhere. Maybe even just take yourself out to dinner. Who knows who's watching, right? 
throw a little, you know, rose in your lapel or, you know, make a brooch out of a rose and put, or put it in your hair, you know, however it works for you, okay? Pyrite is the companion for this card as it was mistaken for gold by many people. You may not be gold, but you can look like it. <laughs> it's full gold, right? Bringing your vessel into a physical state of elevated emotion instantly helps the mind and body sync up. So even if you aren't going anywhere, get glammed up. You know it'll make you feel better, okay? You know what? It's even a good idea just to get glammed up. Maybe you might want to take new professional photo shot, you know, photo shoot shots of yourself, okay? Uh, for a portfolio or whatever, right? Or even just make an excuse to go get new passport photos or something, right? There's always somewhere you can put it to use. All right, let's get you one thing beyond the Moria. I am feeling very drained by this energy, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> and I have a feeling it's just the vibe of this environment is just, it feels like it's like really pushing at you, right? And like, it's just like, do this, do that, do this, do this. You need a moment for you, okay? You need to just step back and say, uh-uh, I need a break. Boundaries up. I'm going to go get my hair did. I'm going to get my nails did. I'm going to go out and just, I'm going to have, unwind. I'm just going to go have a good time. Okay. I don't want to deal with you. <laughs> and maybe you don't have to wait for the weekend to do that. Okay. There is definitely going to be a change here in a few months regarding this situation. And I have a feeling it's, it's outside of you. And it's going to be kind of like this for a few months, okay? So you might want to start integrating some self-care every week. A treat-yourself day, all right? A day where you can maybe shape-shift and do something else, you know? Explore new life, you know, somewhere. Something you haven't done before, okay? And this would be a good idea, too, because then, who knows, you might get new ideas, right? You might find a better job. You know, one that actually feels like a career and not a job, right? And for those of you in a relationship where it feels like a job, okay, because I am seeing the marriage and the court, courtship, maybe you're going to find something better for yourself, or maybe you just want to date yourself, okay? And it might give you the courage to kind of break free from a break free from a situation that feels very depleting. This could be someone that you're newly dating that you might be like, yeah, you ain't all that at bag of chips. I gotta go. <laughs> this ain't it. Nah. I mean, it's nice to meet you, but, you know, it's just not my jam or my jelly or my peanut butter. I wish you well. <laughs> you know, you may discover what you really, really do like about the situations that you're in and the things that you don't. And then you can kind of fine tune what it is you want for yourself and be excited about life again by trying new things, right? Maybe you're tired of dating all the same people and you're realizing that. You know what I mean? Well, go for the polar opposite. <laughs> okay, let's get one from Lou Maria. Thank you. Yes, definitely take care of self at this time, okay? Your sacral chakra needs you. Get creative with your choices, okay? I'm definitely seeing core of creation number three. Feelings, emotional responses, pleasure, sensuality, intimacy, connection, letting go, creativity, sacred sexuality, passion, healthy boundaries, valuing the body, okay? Get in touch with your creativity and embrace your natural expression, however it looks to you. The way you live is an art form, a unique expression of yourself. You can dance through challenge, sing through restriction, and paint your reality. And that could even just get glamorized, okay? You're invited to revel in the present moment and feel deeply in your own senses, okay? The sensuality of being alive, the breeze on your skin, the scent of damp earth, the feeling of fitting perfectly into the temple you call your body. This card is about diving into the depths of the moment where all your faculties are available for divine creation. Your entire pain kit is present as no part is left in the past or caught in the future. All of who you are unites in a point of deep experience. This is the ecstatic moment of conception for a new project or life. I want that children energy and this birthing energy here. 
the flowering energy. This is the ecstatic moment of consent. Oh, yeah, I just said that. Let yourself drop into passion, intimacy, and a loving connection with whatever you are birthing into the world and with whomever you have chosen to co-create with, okay? You might want to visualize the color orange. Maybe the color orange will be really helpful for you right now. If you're trying to get creative, work with orange. See how you can work with that color, okay? All right, let's pull one from Foxfire. Get some more guidance, please, Spirit. Thank you for Leo. Oh, this has some tinge of orange to it, too. Focus on that for now. That might help brighten through the dark, murky clouds here. Okay. That's what I'm saying. It's, it's like just clouds and fog. All right, let's get one, please. Spare it for Leo. And I see all that bright orange and those koi, too. Ooh, beautiful. All right, 36. Memories of the Forgotten Self. This one is all about remembering who you really are, okay? And going for gusto, all right? And not being afraid to show your true self. And do you, boo. <laughs> it's all about this getting back to self, okay? When did you forget all of who you are, dear one? When you did, you began to believe what others say is true of you. Right, we'll do mm -hmm. And turn away from the quiet certainty of the internal voice. The voice of your soul calling you back to remember all of who you were. Did it become too difficult? Did it seem that others perhaps knew more than you, more than the ancient self who has traveled with you for millennia? Can you now see that it is impossible for another to know you any better than the voice of your own immortal soul knows you? At whatever time it was that the voice of your soul was smothered, it never was quiet, and it found its way through the labyrinth of self-doubt and fear. We do have that here twice, <laughs> okay? And it found its way through the lab, okay, until it rose up within you. And you're going to get exposed on this one. You're, you're going to see it in your dreams, what's really scaring you, okay? You might even also get a solution. You'll get your intuition peaking, okay? It'll become visible. The moon will come clear, okay? It's a clear moon through this vast forest covering things, okay? It is now, it is with you now, the forgotten self urging you to remember, showing you scenes of who you once were in this lifetime. The visions you had as a child, the times you stood firm in your own trust and belief in yourself. It will first whisper to you of the truths of the soul, sharing the secrets of who you are, reviving memories and dreams of other times and within this lifetime. Again, maybe you're going to declutter a bit and discover something, right? Like that rainbow. <laughs> And at that moment, which is coming for you, your own voice and the voice of your soul will entwine as one. And you will no longer be who others feel you should be. You will incarnate again in this lifetime as the once forgotten self, now remembered and alive and present. Okay? All right. I'm going to pull a final card for you from my mantra deck. If you're interested in more and you feel like that might be helpful. And it should be here. Where, where's my finger going? There. Okay. And up here, I think I have some intuition training playlist as well. And on the other side is messages. Okay. Feel free to peruse. Get some more if you need it. If you need more intuitive guidance. Okay. Uh, get more ideas perhaps. Okay. See if it, anything having to do with the sacral chakra, the color orange. Glamour, beauty, self-love, authentic self, maybe even about dreams, inner child stuff might be helpful, okay? Let's get one for Leo spirit. Something empowering that they can maybe read off for themselves or recite every day, okay? And I do have a video of this as well in the mantras, okay? You might have to go find it. I don't remember where it is now. <laughs> I did so many of them. Okay. 
I release everything negative just as easily as exhaling. And when I inhale, I become a powerhouse of glowing radiance connecting to the highest universal source. Also check out Breathwork, the playlists. There might be some good ones there for you, okay? I just heard that with the exhaling and inhaling. You might need to breathe in a situation and let go, breathe out everything that's gross and nasty, okay? There you go, Leah. Hopefully that helps you, all right? Until next time, bye.